The Reds are now in Singapore as they prepare to take on Leicester City and Bayern Munich before the start of the Premier League campaign. Whilst there is still more to be done in the transfer window, we haven't got any updates as of yet. However, we will take a look at the blow the club have received, whilst also going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Despite ongoing interest from Liverpool, including the first bid rejected, defensive midfielder Romeo Lavia is still part of Southampton's pre-season. Lavia is a priority target as Jurgen Klopp seeks to find solutions in the transfer market, following the sales of Jordan Henderson and Fabinho. Neither exit was planned, but Liverpool now must push on forward with a bigger rebuild than anticipated, having already bought in Alexis McAllister and Dominic Saboslai. Earlier this week, the club saw an initial bid for Lavia worth £37 million, rejected by Southampton, with this as Anfield later reporting plans for a second offer. It had been hoped that a deal could be struck in time for the teenager to fly out to Singapore, where Liverpool are currently based for pre-season. But as it stands, Lavia is still in the Southampton squad and part of Russell Martin's planning for the upcoming campaign in the Championship. On Saturday, the Belgian came off the bench in a 1-0 defeat to AZ Alkmaar at St Mary's that served as a final warm-up friendly before the domestic season kicks off against Sheffield Wednesday. Though Lavia only played 16 minutes against the Dutch outfit, if he was close to a move elsewhere, it is unlikely Martin would have afforded him any game time. Liverpool remain hopeful of signing the 19-year-old in the near future, of course with personal terms already agreed. It has been suggested that the next offer would be in the region of £45 million, inclusive or add-ons, with Southampton valuing the player closer to £50 million. A compromise is likely to be reached given how close the two parties are, though it seems more realistic the player would join his new teammates upon their return from Singapore if a transfer is secured. Chelsea have also been credited with interest in Lavia, a player they bid £50 million for a matter of months after his initial move to Southampton from Manchester City last summer. But while their pursuit of Brighton's Moises Casado has so far been fruitless, leading to claims of a pivot to other targets, Saturday saw a £23.5 million deal agreed for Rennes midfielder Leslie Ogochuaku. Ogochuaku's switch has been reported by The Athletic has a similar profile to Lavia, which could give Liverpool a clear run at Southampton's number 45. For now, however, he remains with the Saints, though it could be that Saturday was his final outing for the club. Just a quick one, guys. We have released our new July drop. We've got brand new designs. We have the Liverpool original t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. With Dominic Sabozlai missing Liverpool's last friendly due to an ankle problem, Jurgen Klopp has revealed he will be back versus Leicester. Sabozlai started the Reds' opening game of pre-season against Karlsruhe SC, playing 45 minutes in the 4-2 win, but then sat out the 4-0 draw with Grufa Firth. It came after a twisted ankle in training whilst in Germany, which led to concerns among supporters as a setback to the club's new £60 million sign-in. However, Sabozlai was pictured with the squad after landing in Singapore on Thursday, and in his press conference ahead of Sunday's meeting with Leicester, Klopp confirmed Dom is back. He will train tonight and if nothing happens here, he will play tomorrow night, definitely, he told reporters. It's good, it was nothing too serious. We have really a lot of intense sessions and it was one moment where he just rolled his ankle a little bit. We all know everything can happen there, but nothing really happened apart from he needed a few days rest, proper treatment. He was already back running pretty quickly after. He was now yesterday in training, but yesterday was obviously not intense. After the long trip, he had to just shake the legs a little bit, play a little rondo and the boys were shooting a little bit. After the session, that's all. Tonight will be a proper session and the game tomorrow. In the moment, nothing speaks against that. He will play. Klopp also explained why neither Thiago or Stefan Bajetic travelled to Singapore. As though they are nearing a return from injury, the flights would have cost them two, three, maybe even four days of training. We thought it makes no sense in a very important phase of rehab for both of the boys, he added. Bajetic at least will be involved in team training from the moment we arrive home. Liverpool will lose a minimum of £1.5 million in matchday revenue due to the delay of Anfield Road expansion, according to Football Insider. The Reds provided an update on their stadium development plans on Wednesday the 26th of July, revealing that Anfield Road expansion will not be completed in the time for the start of the Premier League season. 
Liverpool had hoped to have the new section of the stand open for the opening home game against Bournemouth on the 19th of August. However, construction delays mean the stand will be closed for the club's first few home matches, with a new completion date of October 2023. Construction on the stand started in September 2021, and the project is expected to cost Liverpool around £80 million in total. The development costs could rise as a result of delays, although Liverpool's payment terms with contractors Buckingham Group are unknown. But the delays will provide a blow to Liverpool's projected matchday revenue for the 2023-24 season. The Reds are still on track to beat their record matchday income of £86 million, set in 2021-22, but this summer's delays will lower potential matchday revenue by £1.5 to £2 million. The 7,000 extra seats added to the Anfield Road stand would earn the club over £400,000 per match day. Liverpool are now unlikely to have the stand open for the first three or four home matches of the 2023-24 season. Just 13 months after his Liverpool exit, Sadio Mane is set to leave Bayern Munich. The Senegalese winger is close to becoming the next name on the list of players to make the move to Saudi Arabia, with several sources reporting that a deal has already been agreed. His destination will be Al Nazer, where he will link up with Cristiano Ronaldo, Marcelo Brozovic and Alex Tellez. After securing a move to Bayern last summer, Mane's subsequent season didn't go to plan. He scored just 7 Bundesliga goals in 25 appearances and was eventually dropped by new manager Thomas Tuchel when he replaced Julian Nagelsmann in March. With Mane not in Tuchel's plans, Bayern are now cutting their losses and moving the winger on. The circumstances mean Liverpool will lose out on nearly £7.6 million from the £35.1 million fee agreed last summer. The Reds still receive the initial fee of £27.5 million, but will get hardly any of the 7.6 add-ons based on appearances and achievements. The winger could undoubtedly still contribute to a top-flight club, but he has been on the decline for a couple of years. Bayern may even still make a profit on him, around £30 million is a reported asking price. But it is easy to forget until Jurgen Klopp moved into a central position following Luis Diaz's arrival, Mane's form had been dropping for at least six months. Whilst he did experience a resurgence as Liverpool pushed for the quadruple, this perhaps papered over the cracks that later saw him fall out of favour in Germany. He will still be remembered as a Liverpool legend though, and one of the key players that took the Reds back to the top of world football. Liverpool fans, what are your thoughts on the stadium expansion, and what do you make of Romeo Lavia? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys, make sure you drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.